Hi, my name is Lindsay O'Neill and I am the manager of Must Hostel in Cookstown, which provides supported accommodation for single homeless adults 18 to 65, including male and female. We are also one of the seven approved probation hostels in Northern Ireland providing a probation approved accommodation for males and females and we're the only hostel that actually provides that for female offenders. Um, with supporting people funding, we provide 24 hour support for our 20 residents. We also provide move on accommodation as well. Um, the funding allows us to go over and above for our clients, which is why we are up for a housing award on Friday night within the Chartered Institute of Housing. Um, our, we're actually for the category of best housing story, um, so it follows the story of one of our female tenants who suffered from mental ill health. And it really shows that it's just not bricks and mortar that supporting people funding allows us to go over and above and give that person long term support even when they move on from the hostel which our client has is three years but still calls up for a little cup of tea because we are still there with the funding from supporting people. Um, if this funding was removed I would feel that the clients that we've had all over the years would really be, doing, uh, be done a disservice as such and especially in our rural area where we operate, there only is ourselves and two other support accommodations. So it's really vitally important that rural areas do have that money to provide that service and uh, to the most vulnerable in our community. And considering we're a generic hostel, we often do get people who slip through the net and alternatively wouldn't, would be out in the streets and wouldn't have that accommodation. So it is vitally, vitally important that the, that the funding is um, secured and that's why myself along with Women's Aid, Manager Martina Havens will be going out to local MPs and MLAs to make sure that that funding is secured.